To be able to work and create in a 3D space, we have to see, think, and plan in space. Yet most of the time, the tools we use for this kind of thinking are two-dimensional, a paper and pencil. Daniel Ratay's invention, Leonardo, transforms an ordinary personal computer into a three-dimensional system that can be used by anyone. This invention consists of sensors placed on the monitor, a pair of 3D goggles, a magic pencil, a small console the size of a pocket dictionary, and the special software. With these, the user, even your average 10-year-old, can create his or her own virtual reality right in front of the monitor. And then he or she is free to draw, to model, to make patterns, to shape objects, create games, build structures, and pursue a whole range of other activities that until now we only dreamed of, that seemed as unreal as a science fiction movie. Up to now, we've all been using the two-dimensional work environment provided by our personal computers, with the plain two-dimensional mouse that can move a cursor in two dimensions on the screen. Now, with Leonardo, we can pull that cursor off the monitor surface and work with it in space. And everything that we create using our magic pencil in space is, of course, visible in space. So, in effect, we gain access to a fully three-dimensional working environment. And this opens the door to huge possibilities, a tremendous number of applications. If you think about it, the fact that the president of the Academy of Sciences teams up with this guy who is 20-some years old, basically just out of high school, maybe this means that people are finally learning that real, professional, quality, added value is more important than seniority. When I saw Dini Arata's work, to be honest, the first time I saw him was on television. I immediately took notice. Wow, he's really got something here. It's an innovation whose full potential we probably cannot conceive at this point. In my field of brain research, for example, or for pharmaceutical research, it could well be a tremendous boost. In our profession, Dini Arata is a real treat. His thought processes don't follow the usual well-worn paths. Instead, he took an abstract idea and made it into an actual working prototype, thanks entirely to his own personal effort and that of his family. This is unusual in our profession. On a daily basis, professionals from a wide range of fields are turning to virtual reality to help their work. From archaeology to interior design, from constructing advertising stands to criminology, from engineering, medical and geological sciences to tourism and database management. The parent who buys Leonardo for the cost of a better quality game console and the school which buys the educational version to match its needs can foresee that big developments are just ahead. They are buying not just a technological gizmo for the family or for the classroom, they are enabling their children and their students to become key figures in the IT revolution of the future. Because in IT terms, the future is measured not in decades, but in years. <laughs>